Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Roxy and today I will show you how to make this amazing jacket for spring or autumn. Uh, it's not hard to make. Can be adapted to any size. In the video you can find all the information that you have need for uh, your size. The crochet that I use is 4 mm for the squares and for the sleeves. And uh, with the crochet number 3.5 mm, I make the front edge and the bottom edge. Sorry. The yarn that I use. For the uh, purple color, it's Alize Baby Best. And uh, for this yarn, with this yarn, I use um, almost four and a half skeins. For the ivory color, I use Alize Cotton Gold. And I use four and a half skeins. But because this Alize yarn is a little thin than the uh, Alize Baby Best, I combine with a very thin mohair. But uh, it's your choice what type of yarn you want to use. It's very important to use a soft yarn. I hope you like it, my new creation. If you, if you want the written pattern, you can find it here into the bottom in my presentation. And also, if you like my work, please subscribe to my channel and support me. And let's begin. And now. <clears throat> Before I show you how to make the square, um, I will give you some information. So, before you begin to make the square, you need to measure all around the body where the hips are bigger. And the result divide by 2. In my case, my mother is a small person and she has 90 cm. And I divide by 2. And the result is 45 in my case and you uh, also will obtain after you divide by two a result doesn't matter what size you have this result is for the back and the result you divide by three if you have a bigger size at the XXL up, you can divide by 5. But for the S, M, L, XL, XXL, you can divide by, by 3. And the result will be the number of centimeter or inch that you need for each square. In my case, for each square, I need um, 15 centimeter. Okay? And I will have for the back one, two, and three. But uh, I will make uh, one, two, three, four, five, six groups. Okay? This for me is the row. And when I make, will be the group, okay? And one more time. Measure all around the body where the hips are bigger. Divide by two. The result, divide by three or five. If you divide by five, you will have, have for the back five square. And for the front, uh, 
At the left, you will have two, one, two. For the right, one, two. Okay? And now, uh, about the square. As you can see, I already make one. The square is not uh, the mosaic square and also is not the first part at the element call. Okay? This is my square. And now I will show you how to make it. Now I will show you how to make the square. In my case, I make seven rows and I make like that with the first color, one, two rows, then one row with the second color. Then I make one, two, three with the first color and one row with the second color color. I think it looks very beautiful like that. So keep this formula. Two rows, one row. Three rows, one row. Then, if you still need, make two rows with the first color, one row with the second. Okay? But depend with the yarn that, that you use and also with the crochet. And also, uh, you need to obtain the number of centimeter or inch that you need for your square. And now, make a slip knot and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Join with slip stitch into the first stitch chain two one two this two chain count as one double crochet and I will ha hide also uh, the yarn at the back after you chain two make two double crochet one and two. In total, you have one, two, and three. Chain one. Make again one group with three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain one again. So we have one, two group once again one group with three double crochet one two and three one more chain one and again three double crochet one two and three chain one And you join with slip stitch here into the chain two. And make slip stitch until you reach it at the chain one space. And make one, two slip stitch and three. Every row begin and finish into the chain one space. Chain two, one, two, and make one double crochet. In total, you have two. Since now, at the corner, we make two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Look. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Okay? Chain one and make again two double crochet. One and two. And as you can see, each square uh, has four parts. One, two, three and four. 
for every part after you make the corner the first stitch will be from post triple crochet the first and the last stitch so make one from post triple crochet i yarn over only one time and insert the crochet into the front at the stitch and you take one loop then two loops then two loops into the next stitch make double crochet into the next make from post triple crochet one loop two loops two loops and now make the corner two double crochet one and two chain one two double crochet one and two and make again one from post triple crochet and you take one loop two loops two loops into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch from post triple crochet one loop two loops two loops now make the corner two double crochet chain one two double crochet now continue until you reach it at the end of the row and then i will show you how to continue i almost finished the row and look now you join with slip stitch into the chain two then make one slip stitch into the next stitch and one slip stitch here into the corner but this time uh, we need to change the color and I cut the yarn okay and now I take the second color and I make the slip stitch with the second color okay and now make two knot one and two this is the row number three chain two one two and make one double crochet chain one and make again two double crochet one and two and now the first stitch is from post triple crochet into the next double crochet into the next from post triple into the next double crochet into the next from post triple into the next double crochet into the last from post triple crochet and now make the corner two double crochet chain one and two double crochet one and two 
as you can see uh, it look very beautiful okay now continue until you almost finish and then I will show you one more time how to change the color I almost finished the row number three and look how it is and now join with slip stitch into the chain two make one slip stitch into the next stitch and now we change again the color cut there take the color number two <coughs> and make the slip stitch also make two knots one and two and now you make three rows one two three with the first color chain two one two and make one double crochet chain one and make two double crochet one and two and we begin with one front post triple into the next stitch double crochet into the next front post triple to the next double crochet front post triple double crochet front post triple double crochet from post triple double crochet from post triple and now make the corner Two double crochet one two chain one two double crochet and now you continue until you finish the row then join with slip stitch into the chain two and then make one two slip stitch until you reach it at the chain one space chain two and continue with the row number two at the second color and now you make so many rows you need after you finish the first square always you finish here into the chain one space and after you finish the first square make a slip knot cut and hide there okay and now after uh, I finish the second square I will show you how to join the square okay as you can see I finish one square then I make a slip knot and I cut and hide there and look this is the outside at the square and this is the inside it look very different okay outside inside and now after you finish the second square you work 
until you reach it at the chain one space. And now it's time to join. The join is made with back loop slip stitch. And you insert the crochet here into the chain one space into the back loop. Join with slip stitch. And now back loop at the next stitch at one square, back loop at the next stitch at the second square. Join with slip stitch. Back loop. Back loop. Join with slip stitch. Back loop. Back loop. Join with slip stitch. I will join some stitch. And then I will show you how it is. So back loop, back loop, slip stitch, back loop, back loop, slip stitch. Okay, after you finish the last slip stitch is make into the chain one space at this corner and at this corner and for me i need to make one more i will join and then i will work uh, five group at the group number six i will show you again how to join look how beautiful it is after you make more groups this is the row this is the group i don't make uh, five groups because uh, the jacket will be too long because after we finish we make a front edge that it work all around and your jacket become a little long that you make so I make one two three four groups and I'm I need to make one more group that I need to join very beautiful isn't it <clears throat> it's very important the color that you choose and also the last group is joined exactly as I show you, but I want to show you one more time. Okay. And here it is, the chain one space, insert the crochet. One moment. The first stitch is always a little hard to join and join with slip stitch and now you continue back loop back loop join with slip stitch back loop back loop join with slip stitch if you don't like it this type of join you can choose another 
type of join but i think it look very beautiful like that but it's your choice what type of join you want to use okay so join until you reach it at the chain one space the last join is made here at the chain one space after you make the next square you also begin to join from here until here okay and now after i finish the back i will show you how to make the front side because at the front side we need to uh, keep some space between the square because i want uh, to make the inside pocket okay so finish the bag and then i will explain how to make the front i finish the bag and i have one two three four five uh group and for each row because i name uh, to the right to left it's like a rose okay and also i make one front side uh, if you make three square for the back for the front you make one for the left one for the right if you make five you make two for the left two for the right and also i join the front side and the back side and also i keep here between the first in the and the second square i keep some free space because here i will make the inside a uh, pocket i don't make it yet okay and now when you make the front side make the first square cut and hide there i already make it and after you finish the second square if you need to keep the space free space here for the pocket you make here if you want to make between the second and the third uh, square you can make here in my case i make the free space I keep the free space between the first and the second square and also I finish the second but at the second I don't cut there and in my case after I join the corners I join four stitch and one moment okay so join the corner and in my case i join four stitch one two three and four 
if you need to join more because depends for uh, the size at the square and now I make slip stitch in every stitch until I have at the end four stitch so one two three four until here I make slip stitch at the first square so insert the crochet into the next stitch and make slip stitch into the next Insert the crochet and make a slip stitch into the next insert the crochet and make slip stitch into the next insert the crochet and make slip stitch okay continue until you have the number of stitch that you need at the end of the square and then I will show you how to continue I finish to make slip stitch until I have four stitch and now insert the crochet into the back loop at the next stitch and then count at the second square in my case I count four One, two, three, four, and we join with slip stitch to the next. Insert the crochet into the back loop, and we join exactly as I show you. Continue to join until you finish make a slip knot cut and hide there and then continue to make the number of square that you need in my case i need to make a uh, three and then uh, after i finish and after i join them i join the second front side at the back side after I finish I will make one slave and then I will show you how to make it I make one slave and the slave as you can see is not made with the square but at the slave I use the same stitch from post triple and double crochet and also on the slave I work the same number of rows with the first color then add the second so I make two rows with the first color one row with the second three rows with the first one with the second and I work exactly like that until I finish and also as you can see I put some stitch marker here where I put the stitch markers I increase and I increase here then two rows work normally one increase two rows work normally one increase two rows work normally and for the slave you need to chain on uh, odd number okay in my case I chain 33 and you measure all around here at the wrist and chain the number that you need but must be an odd number after you chain join with slip stitch into the first stitch the slave is also uh, working circular exactly as we make 
the square and chain two one two the chain two other slave don't count and into the same stitch make one double crochet and make double crochet in every stitch until you finish this is the first row of the slave one moment until I make some stitch okay finish and then I'll show you how to finish the row and how to begin the next row I finished the first row with double crochet in every stitch and now other slave always join with slip stitch here into the first stitch not into the chain two chain two and begin to make the stitch that I show you one from post triple one double crochet and begin with the front post triple into the next double crochet from post triple double crochet from post triple double crochet continue all around when you finish join with slip stitch here into the first stitch and change the color uh, make in total the number of rows until you have six centimeter in my case I make six rows okay and then i will show you how to continue i work until i have six centimeter in total i make six rows and now it's time to increase the increase is make into the first and into the last stitch at the beginning and at the end of the row uh, the first increase is make before you make the first stitch the second increase after you make the last stitch but I will show you and in my case I also need to change the color so I change the color chain two and here into the same stitch make one double crochet then from post triple and continue to work normally one from post triple one double crochet so this is the first increase continue until you almost finish the row and then I will show you how to make the second increase I almost finished the row and here into the last stitch make the front post triple normally and then make in plus one double crochet this is the second increase and join with slip stitch into the first stitch this time the first stitch is double crochet in my case I need to change the color again so I change the color 
and now you take the stitch marker and you put exactly into the first into the row where you increase okay and now you make two rows work normally you will have at the beginning of and at the end of the row double crochet not from post triple see double crochet at the beginning double crochet at the end of the row and continue to make two rows one two then increase again after you make uh, the second increase you as you can see you will have in plus one from post triple at the beginning one from post triple at the end of the row this is in plus after you make some the increase also you will have in plus from post triple okay so one row increase two rows work normally one increase two rows work normally if you want a slave a little large you can make one row increase two rows work normally one row increase one row work normally and then repeat one increase two rows work normally one row increase one row work normally in my case i don't want a large slave and i make as i tell you continue to make so many rows you need until you obtain the length for the slave and after you finish the slave, don't cut them because we continue to join the slave at the jacket. I join one slave at the jacket. Here it is the slave. And also I close the cardigan, the jacket, sorry, into the right side. So I join the front side and the back side into the right. And now I will show you how to join the sleeve. But before you begin to join, you need to count the number of stitch that you have here at the bottom of the sleeve. Don't matter how many rows you make and you will have an odd number. In my case, I have 61. And because this number can't be divided by 2, you make like that. The number that you have minus 1. The result will be a number who can be divided by 2. And the result you divide by 2. And now, after you divide by 2, you count. From here, where begin every row, come to the number that you have into the next stitch, the minus one stitch, put a stitch marker. And here it is, the middle of the slave. And now you take the jacket and Here, where you join the front at the back, here also it is the middle of the jacket. And then count the number of stitch 
that you obtain after you divide by 2. Into the left, put a stitch marker exactly into the last stitch. And then count again to write the same number of stitch. And now you take the slave and we begin to join. Begin to join at the first until at the last. And insert the crochet exactly where you put the stitch marker. Now I take it. Okay. And join with slip stitch. The slave, and also when we join the front side at the back side, uh, we join with slip stitch. So, insert the crochet into the next stitch at the slave, then into the next stitch, in my case, is chain one space at the square. Join with slip stitch. So, we don't join with back loop. We insert the crochet also into the next stitch at the slave then into the next stitch at the square. One moment. Join with slip stitch. Into the next stitch at the slave, into the next stitch at the square. Join with slip stitch. Into the next stitch, at the slave, then into the next stitch, at the square. Join with slip stitch. I will make so because I want to show you how it look like. Okay. One moment. Okay. Continue to join until you reach it here at the last stitch marker. And then continue exactly as I show you with slip stitch and close the jacket until you reach it here at the bottom. After you finish, I will show you how to make the front edge. Now it's time to make the front edge. The front edge begin into the lower right corner and it's work until you reach it into the lower uh, left corner okay so begin into the lower right corner and finish into the lower left corner and make us uh, for the edge um, I will try with the crochet number 3.5 millimeters if I don't like it, I use the same crochet that I use for the squares. And make a slip knot and insert the crochet here into the first square that you have at the bottom. Chain two, one, two. Count as one double crochet. Into the first stitch make from post triple into the next 
Дабал Крош. And we make the same stitch for the first row. From post triple and double crochet. For the edge, you can use two colors or only one color. I will use the ivory color, but it's your choice uh, if you want to use only one or two colors. And now you work until you reach it here at the next corner at the first a square and then I will show you how to continue I almost uh, reach it here where I join the first square at the second and here you make exactly as I show you when uh, I make the square okay one double crochet and the last stitch from post triple and now you have one space here into the right one into the left and here it is where you join the square into the first space make one double crochet here where you join the squares also make one double crochet in and into the last space also make one double crochet in total you make three one into the space one where you join the square one one into the next space and now you continue from post triple double crochet from post triple double crochet okay continue to work until you reach it into the lower left corner when you reach it here where you join the front side at the back side you also have three space make one double crochet here one double crochet here and one double crochet here so one two three no more okay and after i finish the first row at the front edge I will show you how to make the second row I almost finished the first row at the front edge and the last stitch is a double crochet who is made here into the chain one space chain two one two and turn your work at this row you make one from a back post triple crochet one double crochet yarn over and we make back post triple crochet then double crochet back post triple double crochet one more time back post triple double crochet see it look uh, exactly the same as the square from inside and this is from outside and work until you make it here 
three double crochet and then I will show you how to continue I work until I reach it at uh, these three double crochet and the last stitch before I reach it here it is a back post triple into the next double crochet into the next stitch back post triple crochet into the next double crochet so always when you reach it at this row when you reach it at this three double crochet you make one double crochet uh, one back post triple crochet one double crochet and now you work normally back post triple double crochet back post triple double crochet okay and look it is exactly the same after you finish this row the next row uh, is working with uh, front post triple and double crochet the row number four is work with back post triple double crochet and continue to make so many rows you need in my case um, I have the square uh, 15 centimeter and the front edge will be a 7.5 centimeter exactly the half of the square so my front edge will be like that if you want you can make it a little uh, big but it's your choice how many rows you need to make after I finish I will show you how to continue I finish the front edge and also I make one pocket it's very nice okay and now for the pocket you count the number of stitch at the square at the last row in my case um, I have at the last row at every square I have 29 stitch and for the square I chain 28 for the square you also use the crochet number 3.5 5 millimeters the square is made with only single crochet so skip one stitch into the next make single crochet and also make single crochet in every chain until you finish continue until you finish and then I will show you how to make the next row I finished the first row at the pocket and now chain one turn your work and also make single crochet in every stitch the first stitch is make here into the first stitch So make single crochet in every stitch and now you continue to make so many rows you need but how do you know how many rows you need you, uh, after you finish the pocket 
you will sew at the last row at the second square until at the last row at the first square so after you finish you sew at the last row at the second until at the last row at the first okay in my case i made uh, 30 rows but depend for each after you finish the square keep a longer thread because we need to sew and make a slip knot after i finish the second uh, pocket i will show you how to sew i finish the second pocket and look i keep a longer thread and put the pocket over the last row at the second square and you begin to sew the pocket so sew the pocket at the last row at the second okay continue to sew here 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 and here after uh, you finish and also after i finish i will show you the last part at this jacket and we make a picot stitch all around here at the bottom because uh, I need to look more beautiful it's only for design if you don't like it don't make it but we look very nice okay I finished also the second pocket and now the last part of this jacket is a picot stitch that we make here at the bottom and uh, we begin here where it is the front edge and to here until here you have rows for every row you make two stitch so every row has to stitch and and make, make a slip knot one moment okay and insert the crochet into the first row chain one and make one single crochet and then make again one single crochet so in total i make two for one row and make again one single crochet so in total you have three stitch chain two one two and now you insert the crochet into the last single crochet and join with single crochet skip one i uh, will make into the next row one two and then into the next only one in total three stitch chain two one two again insert the crochet into the last single crochet and join with single crochet skip one and make again three stitch 
three single crochet one two and three chain two again one two insert the crochet into the last single crochet and join with single crochet skip one again and continue to make three single crochet then chain two one two okay continue to work all around after you finish your jacket is ready i hope you like it please support me if you like my work uh, leave a comment and share with your friends thanks for watching and bye bye